So today let's tackle something on Fourier series. So Fourier series, as the name implies, is just a series. And in any series, you are adding some few terms from one term, second term, third term, up to the end. And normally most series are infinite series. So Fourier series is also an infinite trigonometric series. The difference between Fourier series and now the power series, the power series, normally the function is expressed in powers of a certain polynomial. And that is what brings it as a power series. Now, in this one, we are going to have an infinite trigonometric series. And that infinite trigonometric series of that function can only be obtained if you are dealing with a periodic function. If it is not periodic, we cannot be able to obtain the Fourier series of such a particular fu function. So the Fourier, the, the, the Fourier series can only be obtained for a function which is periodic. And that function must also be continuous, or if there are discontinuity, then there must be finite discontinuities, not infinite. We can say within some period we are having two discontinuities, or within one period we are having three, meaning a finite discontinuity. If we don't have finite discontinuity, we can also not be able to obtain the Fourier series of that particular function. Now, because we are saying the Fourier series must be periodic in a, of a function, this function must be periodic in nature, then we can only obtain the Fourier series of that function if we know its period. And the full period we normally represent by 2L, where L denotes half the period. For example, if a function is of period 2 pi, then that means our L is pi pi. If a function is of period 4, then our L is what? 2. So we must know the period before we can be able to get down the Fourier series of that particular fa function. Now, function of x, if you are dealing with a function of x, then we will be having a naught all over 2. Uh, this is just a constant that we normally have in our representation of Fourier series. Then we have a 1 cos. Because here we have a 1, we will be having cos 1 pi x over L. When we have a 2, the value of n here we say is 2. So we have cos 2 pi x all over a l. If you have a 3, n is what? 3. So it will now be cos 3 pi x all over l. If you are going for a 5, for example, it would be a 5 cos 5 pi x all over a l. So there is normally the cosine series and the sine series. And that's why we are saying it is an infinite trigonometric series involving cosine and sine. So it will depend on the function whether that function have only cosine series or have only, uh, have only uh, sine series. So B1 here means n is 1, so sine 1 pi x all over n. B2 meaning n is 2, it will be sine 2 pi x all over n. Uh, B3, n is 3, so sine 3 pi x all over L. If you will want to write now uh, B7, B7 will go with the sine 7 pi x all over So, where A0, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, and many, many others are known as Fourier series coefficients. Now, if you are given any function, these are the things that we normally determine their values before we can be able to write down the Fourier series of any periodic fa function. So the Fourier series coefficients, we have a formula for that, and this formula is what we use 
in getting the Fourier series coefficients. Now, this expression number one, expression, that expression we have as our number one, can be written in a certain format where we use summation sign. So, we can write this expression number one, we're representing our f of x, and now we write it this way. f of x will now be equal to a naught all over 2 plus now we are doing some form of summations and as you can see n is changing from 1 to 3 as we proceed so we say n starting from 1 and we are, it is an infinite series so n is ending at infi infinity therefore we say now this time it will be a n cos n pi x all over what all over l plus for the sine series these ones we are going to call them b so it will be b n sine n pi x all over So that one will give us the full expression. So this one is known as the Fourier series representation of our function, which must be period periodic. Now, whatever we had here is the Fourier series. How you can write down your Fourier se series. Now, how to obtain how to obtain a naught a n and B N now follows. Now to obtain those follows. So we have our A naught will be equal to one all over L from C to C plus to L. F of X and DX. We have our A N which will be one over L from C to C plus 2L, F of X cos N pi X all over L. Then we say DX. We have our BN. We get it by integration still from C to C plus 2L. We have our F of X sine n pi x all over l now dx now these are the general formula for obtaining the Fourier series coefficients of all periodic functions of all periodic and we say this is a general for formula So, this is a general formula for obtaining the Fourier series of any periodic function. But there are some functions which are what? Which are special. We have functions which can be classified as odd functions or even functions. Eh? So, we say, uh, we can now go for special case, we say not carefully, not carefully. If f of x is an even function, is an even function, then bn is equal to zero. And the Fourier series coefficient. Fourier series coefficients the Fourier series is obtained as follows. Are 
and as follows. Sum. If a function is an even function, now we say b n will always be equal to zero. If you have known that your function is even, even, and if it is even, now our a naught will be given by this expression. That is, two over l. We integrate from zero to l f of x dx. Then we have a n will be equal to two all over l. The integral from zero to l f of x cos n pi x all over l. Then here we have d a dx. That one will give us the value of a n. And this is only used when the function is even. even. If the function is neither, is not even and not odd, then we use the general formula. Meaning the general can be used for any function, whether odd, even, or uh, not even, or, or not odd. So that is NB part 1. We have NB part 2. If f of x f of x, if f of x is odd, then a naught is equal to zero, a n is equal to zero. This implies now b n is the one to be determined. Only b n is the one to be determined where b n will now be equal to 2 all over l. We integrate from 0 to l. f of x sine n pi x all over l. Then we have here the word dx. Now remember I'm using a function of x here. But most of periodic functions in your line of study are normally functions of t. Are normally functions of what? t. So these functions of t, where you see x, you now just replace with what? t. And the formula, everything, the expression is maintain, maintained. So that's how we get the Fourier series of those particular functions. Now let's just um, get a definition, just to, to recall. If somebody did not know what an even function is or what an odd function is, we can be able now to recall that before we can proceed with further analysis. <laughs>